today we're all together for the for the launch of the the Mega Jack 800 system, uh, which is a new system uh, with a capacity of 800 ton per tower. Hardy will uh, give you a presentation later on. Uh, before we do that, I want to. We also have the Mega Jack 5000 system, 5200 with a capacity of 5,200 ton per tower. The system was developed over the last few years and already proved uh, to be a great success. We did two jack-ups already, one in, in, in Argentina, one in Arctodagi in, in Korea. That was for Exxon and for uh, DSME, on the DSME yard. Uh, we also, are also secured already three contracts for the system. Uh, the next one it will be in, in Russia. Uh, one after Russia, that's with four towers, uh, a jack-up of 10,000 ton. Uh, after Russia, we will go back to Korea to perform other uh, for the Wheatstone contract, the top side. It has a weight of uh, 38,000 ton. After that, we'll go to Malaysia for the Molokai project, where we will jack up a top side to a, a height of 43 meters. After the jacker we will skid the top side over a hill as well. Uh, for the details of the, 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 the small system, I want to give the word to Harry and I want to wish you a nice afternoon. If you have any questions, you can walk around without any safety gear as we don't have the systems operational. Uh, our colleagues will be at the at the towers as well to give you to answer your questions and to give you more details about the system. I'd like to give the word to Harry now and have a nice afternoon. Hello everybody, I'm Harry Schmetzers, uh, manager of the R&D department uh, for Mayerly Heavylift. Um, what we have developed is uh, the Mega Jack 800 system. Um, it's, a, it's a small checking system. Um, within Ailey, uh, we develop our own systems since they are at the high end of the market, uh, not available for sale. Uh, a few examples uh, the SK Crane, um, something else, oh boy. Uh, these are the SK Cranes, Mega Jack system, uh, the Hydro Deck, uh, special barge developed to overcome uh, titles of 8 meters. Uh, and this is the Mega Jack 800, as we see it here. Uh, the Mega Jack 800 has been uh, especially designed for uh, to replace uh, climbing, uh, climbing jacks as we have them now. We have a capacity of 800 ton uh, per tower, feed in from one side. Uh, especially if we have bridges and you have a very low starting height, um, we can go down to 1200 uh, millimeters. Um, we have a normal installation height of 1800 millimeters. There's no uh, uh, difficult uh, setup for the, for the system itself. Uh, you have a few load spreading ports, should be level, put the system on top of it, and then you can operate it. Uh, it has an integrated bracing system so that you can go up to 25 meters for jacking, even with such uh, a relative small system. We have uh, built it up, uh, it has been built uh, under Lloyd's provision for uh, uh, welds, uh, material procurement, uh, the building up itself, and at the moment we're busy with a third party review uh, uh, to, to, to check our own calculations. The control of the Mega Jack um, has been done from a, a, a control flight phase. There's uh, two different types of operation. We have the, the local operation of the tower itself. You have a feed in con uh, control box that you can slide in uh, the cassettes and, and get them out. Um, locally, if you're going to do the uh, commissioning of the system, you can jack it up and jack it down locally as well. And after you have fed in the cassettes, then you, turn, uh, you push the button and then uh, the central control room will take it over in terms of jacking. Uh, since you don't have eyes everywhere around on site, we have a local tower supervisor who makes sure that nobody is uh, in the surroundings of the machine while jacking. Uh, what we're currently building is uh, four towers. Um, of 10 meter high. In total we have uh, four bases as you see them here, uh, four starter beams. On top of the beam, of, uh, on top of the tower there's a starter beam as we call it. Uh, depending on uh, how the system 
uh, act because normally it's a stroke control from the bottom and it's a pivot at the top end, engineering wise. Uh, different uh, approach can be chosen as well if you want to have a fixed uh, top as well and then you can even go uh, up higher. Um, here are the main components. This is the base assembly with the feed-in system. Uh, power pack, 350 bars, 100 liters. Normal jacking cassette, starter beam and the end cassette. The end cassette is designed if we're going to do, uh, if we have to be able uh, to do a survival uh, state and uh, higher horizontal loads need to be taken up, um, then the end cassette makes sure that we have uh, the possibility of an uplift of 25% per corner. Uh, normal, if we are at 12 meters high, we can still have uh, 600 ton of load with a horizontal force of 3%. Uh, mainly is designed for uh, jacking down and jacking up of bridges, uh, heightening of container cranes, launching of bridges as well. Uh, since it can take up high horizontal forces, uh, small living quarters, top side, and many more solutions. Um, this is a single power, uh, full capacity. It can be used on trailers as well, uh, two file, four file, depends on, on what space is available on site. Um, if, if skidding is required, a salt plate can be integrated in a push-pull system as we have it for the heavy skid system, and it can be skid as well. Um, if you use uh, multiple towers, uh, then it, it is also suitable for checking up uh, the bridges and installing them as well. Floating operations. And um, this is for refinery exchange of, of pans. So then you can integrate it with the large, larger beams, check it up, skid it on top, and have the final installation. Here you can see a smaller uh, living quarter, about uh, 1500 tons, what it is suitable for as well. Um, these are um, yeah, this is my presentation about mega checking tablets. Um, anybody, any questions? Okay, thank you very much.